<laughs> What's this back. all about? Uh, they, uh, they, everybody should be able to do that. I don't want him to see in my face, so I... Just get one snap, please. I don't think he's legal. <laughs> don't stop doing what you guys... No more face... How's it going, guys? I'm against it press, and we are coming to you today from Quartzsite, Arizona. Uh, we are at the post office here in Quartzsite, and we're just going to pay a little visit on these folks here today and make sure that they honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas of public places. Um, I am out with watching the Watchmen today. And uh, let me just give you a little view of the neighborhood here where we are. We're on a busy road. Noise will get better in a minute after we're done with the intro. Uh, but while I'm showing you around some beautiful scenery in the back there. Time and temperature check. Today is Wednesday, February 23rd. It is 2.41 in the afternoon. And it is 50 degrees. Partly sunny, partly overcast, depending on the way you look at those things. And uh, actually pretty nice out. Light jacket weather here in uh, Quartzsite, Arizona. Hope everyone's having a good day, staying on the sunny side of the street. It's a state of mind. And uh, enjoying whatever you're doing. Should be an interesting one here today, folks. Stand by. What's happening, Watchman? What's up? How you making out? Oh, seems like a lot of activity here. You want to maybe just yeah, stay on yeah, the sidewalk around here and... Yeah. Get a little B-roll, then we'll go on the property, check out uh, check out the back and the side, see what's going on outside, check for signage as we always do. Yeah. And then uh, we'll be going inside to get a stamp. So, uh, like I said, this ought to be a good one. Stand by. Beautiful scenery here. I gotta get you a little zoom into that. It's a little hazy in this direction, but beautiful scenery here in Arizona. It's great being out in the desert. It actually rained today, uh, which is a rare event out here. So it's a little humid and a little chilly, but it's nice. Got my dollar ready for when we go inside to get a stamp. Sometimes pay with a credit card. And believe it or not, people leave comments saying I shouldn't be uh, buying a 55 cent stamp with a credit card, which brings up a good point. Um, has anybody noticed how, you know, just not that many years ago, uh, you'd go into a store and you'd want to spend less than $10 on a credit card and they uh, really weren't too happy about it or just didn't even let you do that. Uh, some places even tried to charge a surcharge. Um, but it seems like nowadays you can go into a store and charge 20 cents if you want to and nobody has an issue with it. So, uh, interesting. Alright guys, so we're going to go take a walk around the back as soon as this truck goes by that's uh, passing me on the left here. And uh, check out the rest of the property. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of signage they have back here. Yeah. Okay, so obviously not a restricted area. Um, you have customer parking all along here. And then the spaces on this side are labeled employee parking only. This must be the postmaster taking up three spots. I'm sorry? That's for the news? The news? Oh, what the? Oh, I'm sorry. Do you work here? Yeah. Oh, who are you? I'm Ruben. Ruben. How you doing, Ruben? Okay. We're just working on a little story about the post office. About oh, the post office? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. All right. 
So it's going to be in the newspaper or something? Or? I really can't get into too much details until I'm done doing what I do. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know that. All right. That's all. Okay. So yeah, we'll let Ruben know what we're doing or whoever. By the time we leave, they'll know what we're up to. We just, uh, you know, a lot of you wonder why we don't just be uh, forthcoming immediately when we get here. Uh, but this is an audit, guys. You guys clicked on a First Amendment audit video. And uh, element of surprise is generally a standard practice uh, in any type of audit. And, uh, you know, I don't want to sway the guy's reaction one way or the other. So try to be polite, respectable, courteous. And, uh, you know, let them know we're working on a story about the post office here. But that's about it. Looks like you're having fun. Sorry? Looks like you're having fun. Oh, yeah, you know, always having fun. Can't help that. How about you guys? You oh, enjoying your day? Right. What's this back. all about? Oh, we're just working on a little story about the area. Getting some footage down here at the post office. Uh, cool. Yeah. Got a little rain today, huh? I guess that's a good thing I for somebody. We was in Parker. We was in Parker. Oh, well, it just stopped about, I don't know, an hour ago? Yeah. yeah. Well, right on. You gentlemen, enjoy your day. You Keep smiling. Don't yep, work yep. too hard. No, I won't. Thank you. All right, so. It's great driving an RV. I got to tell you, this is not my RV, full disclosure. But uh, it's great that you can go to public parking lots and take up six spaces and uh, nobody will really give you any grief because there's no choice. So uh, yeah, this is the back parking lot. We'll see what our uh, friend, I think his name was Ruben. We'll see what Ruben uh, comes up with. Hopefully nothing. And uh, he'll be seeing us on the inside, but hopefully if he does go speak to somebody, they let him know we're not doing anything wrong and uh, let him know what the rules are. Can't blame the guy for asking the questions. Didn't try to force himself on us, so. No real issues. Give you another glimpse of the scenery here. Just beautiful. I hear the uh, feels like temperature in South Dakota yesterday was uh, almost negative 30. It was yeah. like negative 26. Good stuff. Hope you guys are keeping warm up there. Guys filming. Sorry? What are you filming? We're just working on a little story about the post office. Oh, yeah, this is a bad one. Is it? Why, is this your post office? No, they say it's difficult, but it, it's been okay this season. You know, it's funny because really a lot of post offices have some pretty horrible reviews. Yeah, they got, this one's got a bad review. Sometimes it's, uh, my experience. They got t-shirts that say, welcome to the horrors of, you know, or something about the, post office for here yeah for this location really you can buy t-shirts wow okay say, say uh they talk about how bad it is here but wow i haven't noticed it i've been here all season well well we'll see how they treat us sometimes people don't like cameras i don't know what that's all about but yeah they, they, i'm i'm not camera shy <laughs> yeah well you know what you're a nice guy so i'm going to tell you what i'm doing if you promise to keep my secret okay this is my son we've been traveling the country for almost three years we've done over sixty thousand road miles defending our constitution oh right so yeah. what we're doing is this is an exercise of my right to be out in public taking video and photographs uh, they, uh, they everybody should be able to do that i agree with you 100 percent. I, I, I do it all the time i carry my phone as soon as i see something right that, you want to uh, take a picture of something interesting why not i do it sure nobody's going to stop me I hope. you ever get hassled you know, some people will look at you weird if you're taping what they're doing or, right. you know, uh, what they're doing. But, you know, you just kind of hide it a little bit. Well, you know what I always like to say? It might be strange for a guy to be wearing a pink tutu riding a unicycle down the sidewalk, but it's none of my business. As long yeah. as he's not bothering anybody, right? Yeah, I take, I, I use my phone all the time. Well, good. Keep I, taking I, pictures. I, I Have will. fun with it. Yeah. All right, brother. Appreciate good you. Good luck. Yep. Safe good travels, good. man. Yes. It, it, it's, I remember what it said now. It said, I survived Quartzsite Post Office. There you go. Well, hopefully I can get one of those.
Yeah, guy saying that there's somebody uh, in town here selling T-shirts that say, I survived the courtside post office. So, like I said, hope I get to wear one of those. So, yeah, not, you know, I didn't want to get in this guy's face while he was here, but here's the little loading dock. They have some mail carts out here. Nothing that says restricted area, do not enter, keep out, employees only. Uh, but obviously the door is locked and uh, it says stop on there. I don't know what that sign says. It's all faded. Uh, are you displaying your ID badge? Is your vehicle locked whenever outside of your control? Have you reported any unknown people on the workroom floor to your supervisor? So it's a note reminding employees to stay vigilant. Which we should all do. So what do you think? Watch them go see what kind of signage they have on the doors. Yeah. I survived the courtside post office. I, mean, I, I should ask them where we can get a t-shirt. So uh, fire lane, no parking, stopping, tollway zone. Courtside ordinance number. 93-8 It's pretty cool. A lot of people drive around in these vehicles down here. You can actually uh, get a plate and ride them on the road. It's pretty cool. So let's see. We have uh, the holidays that they observe. It says masks or face coverings are recommended in the lobby. Uh, tells you what debit and credit cards they take and uh, list of services available and that's it oh you got the secret gate here you can come in how are you doing okay what are you taking pictures of sorry what are you taking pictures of oh we're just working on a little story about the post office about how it's overloaded this time of year is it well, I don't know. Somebody just told me that they actually sell T-shirts that say, I survived the court the courtside post office. No, it's just really full. Oh. I do support them, but they're always so, you usually have to wait in a line. Need more help. This Everybody time, needs more this help. This time of year. Yep. Well, the festival just ended like a few weeks ago, right? Well, yeah, but people still haven't left. Gotcha. Well, it's a good place to be. Yeah. Hopefully they're spending all their money here. But when, when this part of the year is over with, then I've heard there's no lines. There you go. And I just bought property here, so I'm looking forward to it. Oh, there you go. Well, enjoy that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you. right on. Have a good day. So I just looked at my phone and I have like excellent 5G reception. I'm wondering why. Are we doing something for port side or? I couldn't hear. I'm sorry, I can't hear. I said, what's up with the cameras? Oh, we're just taking a little video. Oh, okay. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, you too. Now make sure you get people in there. Always. No, not me. But the people out here. Well, you're people. Well, I'm people. Okay. Yeah. But it gives it gives it a good outlook for who's coming in here. Well, you know what? I never try to make anybody look good, and I never try to make anybody look bad. I just they're, they're going to look the way they're going to look. That's it. And I just record what people choose to do. Mm -hmm. And there it is. Yep. Ta -da -da. That's it. Now show him. Don't ever say that. Show your best side. No, if you say show my good side, that means you have a bad side. I don't believe that. That's too big of a smile to have a bad side. So you guys just doing this for courtside or for yourselves or for Just for uh, ourselves. Yeah. Well, that's very good. Going for prosperity and doing a little production like they did with Nomad. Nomad. That's a movie. Oh, okay. They came in and, and shot a lady staying by herself in a uh, converted van and they uh, well don't tell me the whole thing I'll have to watch it Nomad's well, you the name have of to the movie Nomad's the name of the movie alright I'll check it out and a lot of it was taken care of it was taken right here was it? was it? oh that's cool good yeah, to know out in BLM land very cool so appreciate the info well you're very welcome thanks you guys have a good one you do the same enjoy the fun things you're doing yeah always whatever they are always, uh, always having fun that's the name of the game well that's true that's it I appreciate you.
keep having fun too. I said you keep having fun too. There you go. But don't just try. There you go. That's it. I believe you. See, for example, that guy, I can tell you that if I would have started explaining myself to him, it would have turned into a 25 minute conversation, which would have gone off on 15 different tangents. And uh, yeah, I just can't do that. It's 3.06 and they close at four o'clock, so. And it's like I said to the guy, we're not standing out here instigating anyone, hoping that somebody shows up causing a big dramatic stink. That's not really what I want. What I want is an organic video that happens all by itself with organic uh, results, uh, with very little influence for me, as little as possible, and just uh, document what people do. I think human behavior is fascinating. And, uh, you know, we got to get the real world out here. No scripts. No plans. Life as it happens. Sorry? What are you doing? Taking video. Of what? Of, of, of whatever happens. How busy it is in, in Quartzsite? How busy it is in Quartzsite? Yeah, I guess. This is nothing. Sure. You should have been here when they had the show, right? Hi, I heard, Brian. yeah, what, the festival just ended a couple of weeks ago, huh? Yes. Yeah. I mean, they had lines almost out on the sidewalk all the way down the hall. Well, I, do you live here? Yeah. Oh, I hope they spent plenty of money. I'm sure they did. Good. <laughs> That's not a good thing. Out in the rain, too. Yeah, well. So, where are you from? Well, that's a loaded question. I'm from uh, right here now. I'm actually traveling the country in an RV. I mean, what is this for? Does he mind if I ask? I'm you just I'm nosy. No, and I don't mind telling you, but while I'm, because I'm working. So yeah. while I'm working, I really can't get into too lengthy of a conversation with you, but we'll be done shortly, and if you're still around, I'll be happy to explain it to you. Okay, but I mean, is it like national or something? Or? Yeah, it could be worldwide. Depends. I'm in Quartzite! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you have a wonderful day. Keep smiling. God bless. Right back at you. No, I'm a resident here. A happy one, too. See, the other problem is, is you'll have somebody, and they may agree with what you do, and they may not, but you'll sit out here, explain it to them. They'll feign uh, happiness with what you're doing. And then they'll go inside and tell the staff and get them all riled up and change the outcome of the whole thing. You know, maybe the staff didn't have an issue. I don't know. You know if she wants to go in and say there's two guys out there filming, that's up to her. But um, I don't need to give her any any more info really than nice that. You. Thank you. You're welcome. Might not happen that way. I might explain it to her. She might love what we're doing. Go inside and not say a word. But, you know, who knows? You guys have a blessed day. You do the same. Take care. Keep smiling. Imagine if you could just explain yourself to everybody that asks. I wish I could. No, and like they'll just, you know, one of them, you know, you explain yourself to five people, one of them's going to run in there and, oh, this is what they're doing. I found out everybody wants to be a hero these days. So, it's, I call them Munchausen heroes because they create the problem and then come up with the solution to it. If you want to be a hero, Worry about what you're doing. Stay in your own lane and mind your business. They say when you mind your business, uh, you stay very busy. Hey, don't. It's a pretty busy post office. I guess because it's the only one in town, right? And what is courtside population? About 37, 3,800? Yeah. Hey, don't. Good. Oh, we're just out taking a little video today. Nice. What are you up to? Coming to check my mailbox. There you go. Maybe there'd be something good in there, right? Hopefully the charger for my shaver. There you go. Shave my head. <laughs> right on, yeah. That's a good feeling. What are you guys filming? Seriously, though. Just working on a little story about the post office. Um, Is this your post office? Oh, yeah, I live here year-round. Oh, okay. Anything yeah. anything to say about it, good or bad? Leave before March. It gets hot as fuck here. No, no, I mean the post office. Oh, no, I just have a post office box. No issues, you get your mail, everything's cool? 
Staff's friendly. Yeah, everybody's pretty much down to earth here. Good deal. Right on. Yeah, cool. If you're not down to earth, you're covered in it, right? That's the way that goes. I probably am covered. In <laughs> it's all right. right now. I was out in the desert on my four wheeler yesterday. Washes right off. But you have a good day, brother. Keep smiling. Thank you. Sorry? Do you do this all the time? Yes. Do you have a, are you on Facebook? Am I on Facebook? No. But I'll, uh, real quick, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing because I can tell you're a nice guy and I shave my head too, so you're not going to turn me in. No, no, fuck no. I watch you guys on, I watch these First Amendment guys on Facebook all the time. So if you have a page I can follow? Yeah, if you go to uh, YouTube, type in AMAG. AMAG? I'll be the first suggested one that, don't hit enter. AMAG, I'll be the first suggestion that comes up. M, what, say it again? A M A G. A M A G. Yep. Hold on a second, I'm gonna write that down. You got it. A M A G. Yep. A M A G. Yeah, you gotta stop watching on Facebook because those are the people that steal my videos. Why isn't this pin working? I don't know. But uh, yeah. A M A G, right? Yep. YouTube, not YouTube. Facebook. YouTube. Okay, cool. All right, brother. Have a good day. You guys have a good day, dude. Keep doing what you're doing. And if you can't find me that way, This video will be up tomorrow, so just wait until tomorrow later in the day and just type in Quartzite Post Office Audit. Okay. And we'll come right up on YouTube, though. Hey, don't stop doing what you guys no are No more Facebook. I'm sorry? Are you doing things for the... the oh, I'm very, I, I remain very objective. I don't do things for or against. What we do is, is we go out and record in public, in publicly accessible places where we have a lawful and constitutional right to be, mm -hmm. and take video. And whatever anybody chooses to do is completely up to them. I don't want to see my face, so I think my complaint is, is residents okay. have to have a post office box. Because there's no delivery. And there should be a free one for the people that live here. Yes, ma'am, should be. But I've lived here for 10 years, and I was told in the beginning there were no small boxes available, so I could not get one. Wow. Are they supposed to offer free boxes to the residents? Yeah. That would make sense. And I know of some people that don't own their property and they get the free boxes. Did you ever ask the postmaster about that? The postmaster here? Yeah. No, I haven't talked to her really. Yeah. I, I asked. You try asking it. and have a nice conversation. If that doesn't work, file a complaint. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. You have a good day. Yeah. I, uh, back when we lived in Amagansett, New York, it's the same type of thing. There is no mail delivery in Amagansett. So all the residents get a free post office box at the uh, post office. I believe it's a small box as well. And uh, yeah, but in, in Amagansett, they definitely give the free boxes out to the residents. So surprising they don't hear if that's accurate. A little bit of drizzle going on. Got to make sure I have no drops on my lens. See how windy it is out here. Look at the flag. Luckily, we're on the right side of the building here to stay out of the wind. Hey, Gary. How are you? Sorry? I'm just in the middle of making a video. Oh, okay. How you doing? What's going on with your day? Nothing. No? Just curious as to what the cameras were. There you go. Have a good day. Little dog sitting on the dashboard. So yeah, I just think it's interesting to uh, people watch. Some people enjoy watching trains go by. Some people enjoy watching birds sing in the trees and uh, squirrels running up the trees and you know all that's good. But I think uh, I think watching people watching and like I said, human behavior is fascinating. Some people given the opportunity to uh, shine will shine brightly and uh, others given the opportunity will go the other way. And it's also great because when someone walks up and says, hey, what are you doing? It's great to turn it back around on them and say, what are you doing? Because most people will immediately get the sense of how silly it was for them to ask. Um, I've said it before and I'll say it a hundred times again. 
Um, to me, walking up to somebody on the street and demanding to know what they're doing is uh, very odd. I've never done that before and I never would. Um, you know, like I say, if you want to ask a question, hey, what's going on? Anything interesting about to happen? Anything, what's going on here? You know, if the person wants to explain to you, they'll explain to you and you might find out if they're just not in the mood or they can't for whatever reason, or it's inconvenient for them to answer you at that particular moment and they say they're not interested in having the conversation. You can't demand anyone to answer you. You can't demand uh, information out of anyone. And uh, that's info. It's starting to drizzle a little. You want to go in? I don't know. That's what I was saying. There's not enough roof here for the both of us. Yeah. Let's check it out. Got it. No, definitely not. Yeah. Looking for dissidents? You see, I <laughs> I wouldn't tell if I was. Yeah, I'm with you. So, uh, typical post office box set up here. And uh, no trespassing or loitering on this property. Violators will be prosecuted. Have the typical post office warning sign here about doing silly things you should never do. Warning about social security scams. And uh, we'll get in line and wait for our stamp. I don't see poster seven anywhere. Yeah, it might be up there, you're right. I'm sorry, are we online, ma'am? You can certainly go ahead of me. We have a sign here that says, activity in this lobby may be monitored or recorded for operational security purposes. Office hours are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Closed for lunch, 11 to 12. No Saturdays and no Sundays. Thank you, sir. Can I just get one stamp, please? Sure. Thank you. I gotta get you some help in here. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's too busy of a post office for one guy. Yeah. yeah. And we appreciate else? you. So thank you. I can see your smile under the mask. Oh, there you go. Keep that going. <laughs> That'll get you through your day. Anything else? Say this. That's it. And can I get a printed receipt with that, please? Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate have you, sir. Have a good day. Thank you. Another 93. Well, I hate to tell you, he's not going to be a movie star thanks to me. So we have a uh, police car, City of Quartzsite, right across the street. I don't know if that's coincidence or uh, has to do with us. So uh, at this point, might as well stick around for a few extra minutes in case he comes back. Yeah. The uh, watchman and I have a steadfast rule. If we think law enforcement might be uh, on the way to pay us a little visit, we do not leave. We'll wait for him, you know, for a reasonable amount of time. A, don't need law enforcement out looking for us. And B, um, as you know, always up for the conversation.
That was funny how we pulled up right there, made a U-turn and left. Yeah. Oh, get water on my lens. Are you? Yeah. Maybe even better, I'll go inside for a minute. Get out of the rain. There it is. I wish I had a tissue to wipe my lens off, but I don't. What, on the lens? Yeah. Watchmen to the rescue. <laughs> really thought the rain was over with for today. Well, here comes 5-0 pulling in. Really? Yep. Yeah. So he's either coming to check his mail or uh, coming to check on us. Yeah. Let's see him pulling in right there, right in front of us. How are you doing, bud? Good, how are you doing? All right. So we can get you a look at a uh, quartzite undercover vehicle, license plate G122JS, driven by a sergeant. Sorry? So what you guys doing? You ever watch First Amendment auditing on YouTube? I haven't. No? When you get home, look up, go to YouTube, look up First Amendment auditing. Okay. You'll probably find us. I have a small channel. First Amendment what? Auditing. Auditing? Yeah. Sorry? I can't hear you. They're just working on a little video. I you it the car, so I figured it had to be good. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, we uh, what we do is we keep an eye on law enforcement, make sure they're not violating anybody's rights. Uh, remind them that the old days when no one was watching are over with. People have cameras. We're all watching you now. We're putting you out there on the internet. We're exposing the bad ones, celebrating the good ones. Right. That's it, man. Oh, yeah, we'll have to look yeah. Right on. Y'all have a good day. It's all rainy out here, man. Should we go back inside? Yeah, I think so. I don't want to get my shit all wet. <laughs> Yeah, it is. It's getting heavier. We're going to have to make a run for the truck when we're done. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm sorry? What are you doing? Taking video. Of what? For what? Of you right now. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. No, we're, we're, we're making a movie about freedom. Oh, well, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> you have a good day. Make two or three. Yeah. Or 400. Yeah. Almost. Yeah, I hit 300. I don't know if I mentioned that on this one. Did you? Yeah. He's a nice guy. We'll see. I don't think he's legal. I'm not. <laughs> I don't think he's legal. I'm not. <laughs> hey, Sarge, you got a quick second? Just want to let you guys know, man, we really appreciate the level of professionalism here in Quartzsite. Seems like you guys are properly trained, know what's going on, right. smiling, shoulders down. 
We appreciate that. Well, we always want to, you know, we, we love finding the bad guys out there, but we love to recognize the good guys too. <laughs> right on. So hopefully, you're hopefully you're one of them and all the people under you. Right on. you Thank good. you, buddy. Honor your oath and keep it going good. All right, you got a good day. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Nice enough guy. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, oh, he wasn't here for us. Oh, there's another employee. There's three of them back there now. Really? Yeah. Yep, good. Yeah, yeah, said now there's, there's nobody here and they're about to close in like 15 minutes. Now they have three employees. That's great. But that's good. Ruben got some help. Awesome. Yeah, before it gets too heavy. It's coming down. Well, all right, guys, I'm going to hide over here in the corner and uh, say goodbye underneath this little section of roof here. Um, don't want the camera to get too wet. But um, obviously, 100% pass here. You know, like I said in the beginning, Ruben came out, asked what we were doing. Fair play. No worries about that. Didn't give us a hard time. Uh, none of the customers really gave us a hard time. So I would say it's a pass here for the uh, folks in court site, for sure. Uh, police officer, like I said, was relaxed, shoulders down, wasn't looking for any issues. And uh, Ruben didn't give him any. So... Beautiful thing all the way around. Um, before we take off, I always like to remind you guys that if you enjoy our videos, you like what we do and you want to support what we do, best way for you to do that, hands down, is to like, share, comment, subscribe. All that stuff gets our videos out to more and more people so that more people can watch them, enjoy them, and hopefully learn a little something. I know me and the watchmen are out here getting an education every day. Uh, like prepare better for the rain would be today's uh, lesson for me. Bring a plastic bag. Um, but that's it. I also invite you to check out his channel if you're so inclined. I will leave a link in the description. Puts a lot of work into his videos. Obviously, you'll hear his own commentary on what's going on. Uh, maps, information, facts. Check him out. Um, but that's it. So we're going to hop in the truck, head down the road, and probably go get something to eat. It's almost 4 o'clock, and it's starting to get a little nasty out. So that's going to wrap it up. So coming to you from the United States Post Office in Quartzsite, Arizona, Watching a watchman hiding out on the side of the building. Amagansett Press. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Out. So you watch uh, a lot of First Amendment audit stuff? Yeah, we watched you and your son. Oh, you do? Cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Definitely appreciate it. Did you were what, in Yuma just a couple days ago? We were, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's one that we watched. Taking pictures of me, too. There you go. Well, we'll make sure we let everybody know what you did wrong today there, buddy.